All right, so in this one, we're going to talk a little bit about making links, making links actually work. Uh, links are important, of course. So links, of course, being uh, any page link. So if you click on something, it will take you somewhere else. Uh, they're called hyperlinks, uh, or at least that's how they used to be called. And now most everyone knows them as links. Um, and they are fairly powerful to make your site more dynamic, useful, uh, but it also allows you to connect to other sites. But what we're working on mainly is the connecting internally and how to do it in a way that's much, much smarter than hard coding it. Um, so what that means is we actually have to create a new page. And I'm gonna make a, an About Us page so we can see how we can do this. I'm gonna close out a bunch of things here because it's getting a little crowded. Um, so um, I'm gonna open up our view, our views and newsletter. And we have our home page here. And we also have our contact. This stuff is okay for where it is. Uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, but in Try Django 18, in here, I'm actually gonna make a new view page and call it views.py. And I'm gonna copy from the bottom of home up and paste it into this views.py. I'm gonna get rid of these forms imports. And I'm also gonna get rid of the settings and send mail, just to have shortcut. And I'm gonna get rid of all this too. Just so we have this one view and we're gonna call it about. Okay, so we have another page, about. So I'm gonna name the template about.html. Context, we're gonna change that to an empty dictionary because we don't need it, uh, especially with something what we're about to do. The reason I'm doing this is just to show you how easy it is to make views outside of your Django project. So inside of URLs, excuse me, outside of your Django app or any Django app for that matter. Um, inside of URLs now, we have two URLs so far, so contact and the home page. So we can actually copy contact, this one right here, paste this in and call this about, give it a URL name of about, give it a view of about, right? Uh, but it's not a newsletter, where is it? So it's definitely not in this view. We just created the view in Try Django, Try Django 18. So it's in Try Django 18views about. Cool. So that's now we have three pages about home and contact. So this means we can actually update how our home or our nav bar actually looks. So let's go ahead and open up our nav bar and um, the MVP landing page. Instead of the hashtag here, we're just going to do a slash. Uh, and then the home page uh, or excuse me, the about page will do slash about. Notice this right here. So instead of hashtag, we'll do slash contact as well. And that's good. So that's what we'll leave it as now. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of this active class and then the home page or the home link itself right here. We're going to change that to slash. All right. So we refresh in here. That active class means that it's uh, not showing the active link or so on. Like this one is showing an active link. This one is not or none of them are anymore. Uh, so now I can click on about and it takes me to about. Notice it says template does not exist. That's good. Uh, we don't have that template, that's correct. Uh, if I click, click on connect or contact, it takes us to this old template, but still works. So we click on it and so on. Okay, cool. Now this creates an interesting problem. Um, this is hard coded, right? So I actually typed out about and all that. Um, and it's a hard coded link and this is okay. But what if I changed my URLs instead of it being just slash contact, it was contact two. Now, if I go in here and click on contact, it gives me a 404 error. That's not what we want to see. Um, so this is a challenge that is fairly easy, easily solved inside of Django. And that's because of this right here. So the names of these URLs. So instead of using the actual link itself, so the actual URL itself, we instead use the URL name. And if there isn't a name, that link will still work, but the name will need to be happened so we can do what we're about to, which is changing about, instead of it being about, we would use the curly brackets, uh, percent on either side, URL, and then the URL name. So in our case, this is gonna be about. Uh, notice that I have a double quotes on both the outside and the inside. We wanna use the opposite, whatever it is. So if it's double on the outside, use single on the inside. If it's double on the inside, use single on the outside. Uh, but use the convention of the rest of the code too. So like in this case, they use double quotes pretty much everywhere. So now we change it to URL about. So let's go back home, refresh, click on about, template still does not exist, perfect.
But if I go into URLs and I change this to whatever, and I click on about, uh, let's go back, refresh, click on about, and it takes me to whatever, right? Uh, so that's what URL names are really good for, really, really good. Uh, there is more dynamicness that we can add to this, but I'm not gonna get into that because you don't need to know it quite yet. But something that I will say is if we change all the URLs like this, every single one, so the home page even, URL home and MVP landing, let's make that also go to the home. Um, so we refresh, if I click on everything, it actually is taking me to where it needs to go. Of course, we still need to update the contact page and stuff like that. We'll worry about that shortly. Um, but there is something that you can do with URLs is you can actually pass in parameters. Uh, you can pass in content on any individual page. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do that yet, but it is something that you would want to know down the line. So for more advanced topics, that is one of those things that's more advanced. You would go to joincfe.com and check out some of our more advanced classes to see how you can actually send in um, context variable or like some data here. So let's say ID equals to one. You could send stuff like that in um, so then your view function can handle that as well. Uh, that's kind of a little preview uh, to what you could do with those URLs. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. and But I want to leave it here uh, because what we have our URLs and they're working great, but the rest of things are not. So about and contact are not working great. So let's take let's stop here and go back to uh, styling out our page. We'll see you in the next one.